Hey, so I wanted to make a video on um, Season of Discovery. So this is my mage, and I want to show like what's going on a little bit. And I'm just going to generally talk about it. I don't want people to think that you got to quit, especially right now. It's just phase one. A lot of people like the mid-max. I like to... I wouldn't say I like the mid-max, but I, I do like to want to complete the raids. So this is my setup for like AOE farm. I've got um, Living Bomb. I can change it out for Ice Lance or maybe even Rewind Time if I'm taking a lot of damage. But pretty much a must is Living Flame and Regeneration. Now Living Flame does really good damage for some reason. But single target, it's not amazing other than the debuff that it provides and then the healing that you do. But if you look at it, so you can get mass regen and put it on your pants. And then this is a fucking joke. This, whatever they thought that this is, this is a fucking joke. Because, like, in PvP, it, sure, it's good to, like, snipe someone's head off. But it uses all your mana. So I don't know if it's only good when you have, like, 1% mana and you choose to use this. Do not buy this room. Do not buy this room. Arcane Blast is fucking, like goaded it's it's like the only thing you can do to do damage but that's it like you can only do arcane blast and the problem is so i don't have the atlas loot up for bfd but literally it's like okay so here's my loot list as a caster you ready i need everything and that's a problem because as a mage if you need every little fucking thing like shit's competitive and that's hard to you know explain to someone because it's like so here's my mage, right? I went and got engineering done. So that way I can pull more mobs when I AoE, right? Because at first I had just tailoring and enchanting so that way it made money. And then I dropped tailoring because I knew I could just get the cloth like instantly. So I got mining so I can mine the shit. And then I started leveling my engineering. And I have quite good gear. You know? Like, I put some time into this character and the logs are fucking um hilarious right now because i'm looking at a log that so this is a warrior that i scrolled a couple of pages back and this dude is not a huge this is not a great great example because he's got great gear um but the problem is, is that the, the physical DPS at the moment are doing so good on these logs that it is not worth bringing a mage. It, it's just not. And I'm not saying that because I just want to be a doomsayer. I'm saying it because this does not make any sense. The mages do provide a great, um, I guess, buff and healing. But if we look at the stuff that, like, dude, this guy's got great gear. He's got, in a way, better than me. Because he's got this, this. I mean, that's kind of bad. But uh, he's got pretty good gear. And you're doing that little damage. Obviously, your class is not fleshed out because we're not at the end. It's just so much easier to invite um, everyone else. Just Period. Look at the tank. The tank did more damage than the fucking mage. And then here's me. So here is... We kept wiping on the boss. And our pull... Like, because we had a bunch of casters, I'm not blaming our guild, but, I mean, I offered to sit. And look at our kill time if we had actually tr maybe killed the boss, which in this window, it wasn't going to happen. Because if you look at this kill time, this is 1 minute and 30 seconds. This one's 3 minutes. This is way too long. It's way too long. The, the physical damage is about there. But, like, shorter fights... Um, I didn't really pop off here. Shorter fights, though, we killed him in 1 minute 40 seconds, which is, uh... I would say is not very good. Here's me. I kind of popped off. I'm healing and stuff. But I'm not saying this because, like, I, I'm just trying to be a dick. It's like, I'm just being real. Look at this. 40-second kill time. 30-second kill time. 
This is the, it's completely night and day difference here. The warriors are doing a lot of damage. Um, I'm not saying I totally regret making a mage. Mages are amazing at making money. I have a lot of leverage over the economy. I'm casually making like five to ten gold by just I make my um, little scams on the auction house or whatever. I can AOE power level people. There, there's a lot of stuff that a mage a mage will offer probably even more the higher levels that we go with Kona Cold and you know other kinds of things. But at the moment, it just seems that we don't do any damage, and it's all because of these spells are kind of funky, and the talents that we can have are. Uh, I wouldn't say that this is technically a raid spec, but like, I mean, what the fuck are you? <laughs> Why would you be anything else? Because like, fire is um, not going to be there at all. Like, you can just do this. Um, let's see. So, Lava Lash, this is us. So, I'm going to go all the way to the previous where I was because I kept looking myself up. So, all these people are stuck in the gulag, so to speak. These are people that are on the damage meters that aren't quite there yet. And as you can see, this is about to tighten up quite a bit because there will be no more casters coming up. So this is it. This is our server that I'm on level level lash and every single top person is physical DPS. So just putting it out there for you guys. Um I want to see if we can find some kid that's like in random gear. Like not even amazing gear, just like random. It just dude, it just seems so much easier to be a physical DP just literally it's not even about like mid maxing. It's just that because to me, I'm not having fun if I can't clear this stuff. And there's no way that if I was in a raid that I made today that I'm just going to sit there and accept uh, people that are shitters. Just forget it. It seems you go a lot further with people that have uh, like whatever is their gear and their physical damage. Like, yeah, dude, invite you. Come on. Yeah, this is crazy. Um, hopefully, what will happen here is we don't have a long phase one or something, but it, it really is... It's tough to see mages not do any damage when you're putting a lot of time in your character. Because, like, here's this guy. He has, like, decent gear, but it's, it's not that amazing other than he's got some BFD stuff. Uh... This to me seems like a character that didn't put too much time into his uh, dude versus me. Like I put a lot of time in engineering because everything is so expensive. So it it is uh that's kind of that's kind of hard to you know look at your character and be like is this really who I am? So anyways the the short is that mages right now uh, be careful. Make it if you want to. They're really fun to play, especially AOE farm. You'll make a lot of money, and you'll have opportunities to make a lot of gold. But as far as getting invited to a group where you're actually going to down the content BFD, I would only take one mage. That's it. I'm not going to... And the rest of it's going to be physical DPS because it has nothing to do with just being mid-maxing. It has everything to do with the fact that you're not going to be able to clear this place. Because um, we... Again, I just want to share it. We tried to kill the boss. And this went on for three minutes. This is totally unacceptable. We're, and then all these other kills. We had, um, you know, one, two, three mages. And a warlock. That's just, no. Let me know what you guys think.